Hi, my beautiful witches, blessed be. This is Y Raven over here. Today is Sunday, and I'm going to take today uh, to share this video with you. That is a video that I've been promising for the past probably two weeks or so. Um, and this is in regards to the incubus. Um, there's a lot. I've been doing research on the incubus and the succubus for the past two to three weeks. Uh, this video is as a result of uh, somebody, actually two people, um, requesting information on videos on it. Um, so I've been doing research on this spirits for the past three weeks maybe. And there's a lot of information out there on this spirits. Uh, there's a lot of videos on it. There's a lot of different um, websites in the internet that talks to you about it. There's a lot of literature on these two spirits. And uh, the bottom line is that this is a spirit that's supposed to be uh, a spirit that visits uh, the incubus, will visit a female and have sex with the female, and the succubus will uh, visit a male and um, have sex with the male. Um, I'm a little bit conflicted again about this idea um, because I honestly believe this is uh, after reading all the things that I read for the past three weeks and doing all the research that I did, uh, these two spirits are extremely linked to religion and they are extremely linked to manipulating people and um, planting fear in people in regards to sex. Wet dreams, uh, night emissions, like when you're sleeping and um, anybody has an orgasm um, while sleeping, while dreaming. It is also a scapegoat for pregnancies in single females in many cultures. Uh, and this is a story that comes from very ancient um, civilizations. So these are spirits that have different names in different countries. They are known all over, and it's, they're not a secret. They are very well known in every single country that you may visit. Again, um, how much I actually did also um, ask the question in my private Facebook, and I asked people to inbox me their um, opinions on the incubus and the succubus. Uh, how much do you think this is a true thing? And take, I have most of my friends in Facebook are witches, um, and it was... 50-50, half of them will totally believe in these um, crazy spirits and some of them will think that it's just um, creation of our own imagination. Uh, I believe in hormones. I believe in, as a female, I believe in my cycle. I'm not going to deny that I have some very sexual dreams in my life. Um, I don't mind them at all. And you probably have too. Do I believe and do I think this is, uh, in my case, an incubus? Absolutely not. Uh, not in any way, shape, or form. You're going to find some religions out there that actually invoke incubus and succubus to have sex with them. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there, guys. There's a whole lot of things out there. I honestly think that our state of mind will create a lot of our circumstances. And, um, yeah, our mind is a very powerful thing. Am I going to say that the incubus and the succubus does not exist? No, I am not going to say that. Um, just because I have never had an experience with it, um, that does not um, discard the fact that some other people have. So I'm not going to make the judgment on that. However, I am coming up with this pretty easy and uh, cool spell in order for you to protect yourself from the incubus. This is not, the spell did not say anything about using this for the succubus. If you want to try it, be my guest and just try it out. I don't see why not. Um, it took me a long time because I was waiting for some ingredients like uh, what I'm going to show you right now. And these are the things that you're going to be needing. You're going to need a white handkerchief for this spell, so just a regular white handkerchief. This is brand new, this belongs to absolutely nobody. I just bought it for this. You're going to need a safety pin. Now, there's a there's a plant called thorn apple, and uh, it's a flower, so I ordered these seeds online. So you're gonna need three seeds of the thorn apple. Not regular apple, but it's a thorn apple. Maybe you have it in your backyard, I don't know. 
Uh, we're going to be using kajaput oil. All right. And we are also going to be using lavender oil. I'm going to write all these things down for you guys. And we're going to use something that is called indigo water. So this took me a long time to get the uh, the ingredients for it. You Indigo water is just that. I'm going to show you this one because I'm missing this one on the side for you guys to see. I don't know if you can tell this is blue. So this is indigo water that I'm making here. What you see inside is called an anil ball. In Spanish, we call this anil. Azul anil. Um, this is it's a blue. This beads come like this. They're extremely hard, uh, almost like gel breakers. Uh, so it takes a long time for them to dissolve in water. Uh, this one's over here were brought from, uh, they're from Canada. This is the brand right here. They're from Canada. I ordered this ones online uh, and Amazon. Okay. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the um, annual color water, the uh, indigo water. This is something that is ori originated in India. Um, this indigo is, uh, it was a commodity back hundreds of years ago and it traveled and it moved from India to Greece, um, to Africa and in up in the Jeruba uh, region in Nigeria. Um, it was brought to Latin America, of course, by the slaves and all the people that follow the Yoruba religion, uh, which is Santeria, Palo Mayombe, and all that stuff. And um, it is used to protect yourself. You can use it to empower charms. You can use it to empower your aura by taking a bath with this water. Uh, you can use it for spiritual protection and to ward off evil. And you can also use it for cleaning spells. So this is something really cool that you can have at home. I'm going to put mine over here and I'm going to keep it. Uh, I'm going to try to wait until this um, little bead is completely dissolved in this water so I can actually make it really concentrated and I'm going to keep it. And I'm also going to keep my other uh, beads just in case I have an emergency later on. I'm pretty sure you can actually grind that powder and use the powder directly. You can use um, laundry coloring and you can use food coloring. The effectiveness and the power behind the color uh, is going to be a lot milder when you use um, like laundry coloring or a food coloring. So I do recommend for you to be patient, order this stuff online. It's very economic, does not cost a lot of money like other ingredients that I have brought for you guys. So let's get back to this spell. This spell I'm taking from the book of three, 5,000 spells by Judica Elis. Um, I don't know where she got it from. Uh, this is a spell that's been going generation through generation. And I'm going to share it with you. It's extremely simple once you have all of the ingredients. So what we're going to do in that white handkerchief, we're going to put in here. I'm just going to open it, okay? We're just going to open it like this. And let me see if I can actually lower this. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to put the seeds in this handkerchief. And I'm going to fold the handkerchief like this. Okay, so make sure that your seeds stay inside. There you go. We just have the handkerchief fold like this. The seeds are inside. Once you have that, guys, with your pin, you're going to pin this to your pillow for seven nights. Okay, you're gonna pin this handkerchief with the thorn apple uh, seeds for seven nights under your pillow. If you're being attacked at night, present this as a, as a way of protection. You're going to put it in your pillow. I, uh, it dispel does not um, specify if this is going to absorb or this is just going to uh, scare away. It does not tell you what exactly these seeds are going to do. Um, I'm just um, directing you on how to go about it, okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to pin this seeds to your pillow at night for seven nights. So 
seven nights, okay? At the end of your seven night where you can wake up the following day, you're going to grab your seeds and you're going to bury them far away from your place, very far away from your place, okay? Get rid of them, bury them far away from you. Once that is done, you're going to grab your handkerchief and we're going to wash it with our indigo water, okay? To that indigo water, we're going to add some lavender and we're going to add some kaja fruit. So what I will do, if it was me, I will grab my handkerchief and I will soak it. I will put it in a container with my water, with the kaja fruit oil and with the lavender. Once it's absorbed, oh, this is what I will do. The spell does not give you any more details on what to do with your handkerchief. So this is what my instincts tell me to do. I will let my handkerchief soak all the color and all that water. And once I feel like it has absorbed coloring, I will let it dry and I will use it as a talisman for protection. Um, that's what I will do as an amulet to protect myself. I will probably leave it in my room, uh, completely soaked with the uh, anil color, the indigo water color, and uh, my lavender oil, and my kaja fruit. Will I re-empower this? Yes, I think I will re-empower this. Will I redo this spell if I, if I need that I need to do it again? Absolutely. I will totally do this spell once again if I think I need to redo it. Again, make sure that your state of mind is at peace. Make sure that you clean your head. Make sure that it's indeed not some, that your attacks are not just a projection of problems that you're having in your life that are projecting that way, okay? Uh, and also understand, sex is nothing, there's nothing wrong with our sexual dreams. That is nature. That is part of our hormones, that is part of our body releasing some energy and um, you shouldn't be ashamed of it and you shouldn't find a problem with it. It is what it is. Now, if you actually think this is an attack, then you have maybe a little way for you to get rid of this night uh, intrusions, okay? Listen be witches, it is always awesome talking to you. Um, I'm trying to work with lots of videos for you guys. It's just, again, I like to get my own um, ingredients when I'm doing this for you. And uh, sometimes it takes me some time to, um, to do the research that I need to do in order for me to share something that actually makes sense. I don't know everything. I know some things, some other things I have to research specifically for a video. Um, I'm going to be talking to some of my Santera friends because somebody asked me uh, to speak about a topic that I find really interesting and how to go about working with the dead, the people that are buried in a cemetery. When we actually go to the cemetery and we request favors for the dead, what do we give them in return and how do we go about it? So I want to talk to one of my Santera friends because uh, this is something they do very often. And I'm probably going to be making a video on that. Give me some time because I do have to make some um, appointments and some dates with my friends to do these uh, interviews. But I will be sharing that with you also coming up soon. Go visit me in Witches Lair, which is stay wicked and embrace it, our differences. That's what makes us beautiful, okay? Let's be. We'll see you soon. And uh, stay wicked.